I think that this topic deserves its own video. I'm going to point out the obvious. I am undeniably a better looking man without hair. Even though I can still grow hair and the rest of the world doesn't see me as a balding man or even really a guy with a receding hairline. I am undeniably a better looking guy when you take away my hair. And granted, the matching stubble definitely helps. Let me just do a, an obligatory uh, turnaround and remind you that this is still five days after a zero guard, which arguably is what, a number one or a one and a half by now? Uh, but either way, I mean, what I plan to do is to only have to do this once a week. So I can kind of graduate maybe from a one to a one and a half or two by the end of the week, whatever it works out. Um, but it's undeniable. It's undeniable that I'm a better looking guy without hair. Hang on just one second. All right, thanks for waiting. All right, <laughs> there, there's seven seconds of your life you'll never get back. But you, all, you guys all know about this whole story about my TV show that aired on the Lifetime Network called This Time Next Year. The episode was called uh, Dudes from Different Latitudes. You can Google that and I don't know if you'll be able to watch it. I've heard you can, you can uh, pay to watch it for $1.99. But anyway, I was on a TV show where I had to meet my doppelganger. And uh, so I'm using this bag because, you know, to think that I had, I had hair and like you can even look at my doppelganger and say, okay, yeah, he's a good looking guy, whatever, all right? But then you take away that hair and imagine the irony that, but I look better without the hair. And so then it makes you start thinking, what if you look better without the hair? It goes back to my confidence crutch theory. Oh no, what if I lose my hair? I won't be attractive anymore. And I understand that some of you have less hair than I have. So you would have to, it, it's a little bit different for you. But still, let me just point out the irony. I look better without hair. I can still grow hair. I can still have hair. To the rest of the world, it's not noticeably receding or thinning. They don't, they don't look at me with a microscope like, you know, I've trained you to look at me. Let me say it for the fifth time in this video. Fifth? No. Somebody's going to go back and ca catch it and, and count it. But the irony, I look better without hair. Uh, I've been out in public now. People have seen me without the hair. And some people I know, and some people who've never seen me. But it's funny to see people's reaction. Like even with strangers. Like I was at Walmart last night. I was uh, at a restaurant this morning for, for, for breakfast. And I walk in, I smile at the person. And the way the people smile back at me is like a different level of respect compared to before. I think it's like people respect a man without hair better. He's got less to hide. He's more direct and he's, he's more of a real person. Again, I think it goes back to that rugged masculinity that I keep talking about in a non-binary worshiping world, right? And that was pretty clever what I just said. A non-binary worshiping world. That's what is happening on MTV and Levi's jeans. Let's worship all these people who, who don't have to identify as masculine man. So let's make a big deal about this. Yeah, non-binary, yes. Rights and wedding cakes and all this stuff, yay. Which I don't have a problem with, let people do whatever they want to. But what I'm saying is that creates a certain commodity for mat rugged masculinity. It's funny, and it goes back to what I said too, that we have these ideals of what it means to be an attractive man according to what you should look like if you're a man on a soap opera with these guys with the perfect hair. But I think almost arguably what's more relevant now is guys that embrace the masculinity. I mean, beards are so popular. The bald look is so popular. And, and it gives me satisfaction in knowing that I don't need to even worry about hair uh, uh, for any of this. Man, to imagine, I am a better looking person without hair. Let me, let me remind you one more time. Almost everybody who's watched the video where I've shaved my head and since then have continued to tell me things like this. Nick, you're a beautiful man. 
Nick, you're a handsome man. Nick, you absolutely look better with, without hair. This is the best look on you. I am flooded with comments like that. I've had more views this week on my channel than any other week in history. And the comments are positively overwhelming as people tell me I look so much better without hair. And that would have been one thing if I didn't have another YouTube channel, which is not about hair loss, called Family Friendly Daddy Blog. And the same thing happens on that channel. Everyone's saying, I look better without the hair. And you would think that, okay, well, if it were a guy who's noticeably balding, you know, Norwood Four Territory or worse, like noticeably, of course people might say that. But we're always trying to figure out my hairline. Uh, you know, what we generically say, you know, Norwood 2.5. But even for me, I look better without the hair. And it's not because, oh, I was hanging on for dear life for my hair before. It's that, no, just it looks better on me. It brings more attention to certain facial features. And of course, it's balanced out by the, by the matching stubble. But just imagine the irony that someone can look better, a man can look better without hair. Better, not even equal, but you're noticeably more attractive as a male because of it. I, and, and it's funny because it's not like people in the real world or on my other channel said, Nick, you're a good looking guy. I like your hair back when I, you know, look more like this. That never happened. Get rid of the hair. Whoa. Now it's a whole new thing where people are making a point to tell me that I look attractive and that I look better this way. So what a social experiment this has been for me. Uh, it's funny because in the same week I've had, I've had this TV show air where I've been on TV, made my national debut, sang and perform a song on the TV show. And that's been a lot of fun, but it's almost like what's been more fun is getting rid of my hair to see how much fun it's been for you guys and to see how much fun it's been for me and to get a confirmation that I didn't need or was looking for, but to get a confirmation, I'll say it again. How many times is this in the same video? I undeniably am a better looking guy without hair. That's the irony. Oh no, what if I lose my hair? Oh no, what if I become a better looking person if I just get rid of my hair? That's the real question to ask. Oh, I didn't press the button. Oops. Awkward.